Okay guys, we're back with another video today about one of my favorite topics, a man named Ryan Kavanaugh. If there's a chance that anybody's watching this who doesn't know who Daddy Ryan Kavanaugh is, he is um, the former uh, founder and CEO of Relativity Media. He ran them into total bankruptcy. Um, there's a lot of controversy around that. All you got to do is Google his name and go to his Wikipedia page. But most recently, he's known for um, being the majority owner of Triller, the TikTok ripoff app that nobody uses, and um, suing me three times. That's right. He's suing me because we did a we reacted to one minute of the Jake Paul <coughs> Ben Askren fight. Gosh, I don't know. It must have been a year ago by now uh, when we did that approximately. And he sued us for copyright infringement. Um, and since then, he's added two more lawsuits, including a tortious interference and defamation. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, not. It's not been a lot of fun. The good news is, for anyone following, is that we had a um, hearing today on the tortious interference one, and it's looking pretty good. So pretty soon, Cab Cab might be having to... Uh, be going on the defense because we will most definitely be going for uh, attorney's fees on that. But yeah, so he's suing me and he's been on a on a absolute unhinged um, crusade after me. Um, well, here's an example. He just tweeted this out. Let's see. Today. Uh, oh, this morning. OK. So he says here. Now I have concrete evidence connecting Throst, Wiki username, and the H3 podcast, a.k.a. Ethan Klein. Anyone who provides a direct proof that hash... I love the hashtags. Let's get Throst trending. Hashtag Throst. Get it trending, people. To all the Ryan Kavanaugh stands out there, let's get Throst trending. Um... With e <laughs> this is how boomer are you, bro? Like, can you at least write this coherently? Um, anyone who provides ad period direct proof, oh, additional, okay. Uh, that hashtag Throst user on Wikipedia, yeah, you mentioned that already, dude. With Ethan Klein or H three, same for user Popokey thirty five. Will PayPal five thousand dollars on confirming actual provable connections? DM me on Insta. So Ryan Kavanaugh has both concrete evidence connecting me and Throst, um, but yet needs additional evidence to confirm actual provable connection. This is this guy, dude. He's so off the deep end. I have no idea who Throst is. I have no idea who um, Pop Popoki35 is. He's convinced that this Wikipedia page, here, let me go, Ryan Kavanaugh Wikipedia, you know, look, he's convinced that anything here that's written a critical of him is a result of me and this, uh, here, let, me, let me make it smaller so you guys can see, and the secret Throst account. Daddy Throst. I don't know what a Throst is, but let's get it trending. Hashtag Throst. So shout out to Throst, whoever you are. And Popo Key. I don't know why you're going after random Wikipedia mods, dude. Like, come on, man. This is the first thing he did, by the way. He tweeted this shit at 9 a.m. 9 a.m., man. Bright and early. That was the top of the morning for him. The first thing on his mind. Let's go get, let's get that. Let's get those dubs. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any proof, I don't know if he thinks... Who who would have that proof? My employees? Does he think that they'll flip, they'll flip for 5K? I don't, I don't pay them that little money, Ryan. I don't know what you pay your employees, but 5,000 ain't enough to go against the family. You might have to bump that up. You know, maybe... Who would flip on me back there? Ian. Ian would sell me out for sure. Yeah, but he would need more money. Yeah, so maybe bump the maybe bump the reward, and we'll catch Throst. 
Yeah, but that's not the only thing Ryan's been up to. This guy thinks about me a lot, man. Yeah, on break, I haven't thought about him or talked about him, but he's been going strong, and we love that for him. You know, got to keep his mind busy. Yeah. Um, the other, th there's just a whole slew of things. Okay. By the way, rare dub for the quartering, enemy of the show, the quartering. Um, quote tweeted, I can't see it because I'm, he blocked me, but rare dub for quartering. I think H3 Productions is a douche canoe, but I mean, there can't be any real validity to this lawsuit, right? Thank you. I have to say that I share the distaste for you, my friend, but it's nice to know that you can see past your own nose and realize that what Ryan Kavanaugh is doing is going to hurt you as well as me. And there are certain times when uh, there's a greater good at work. So I guess a rare dub for quartering. Um, thank you. Um, and no, to answer your question, there is no validity to the LOL suit. Uh, also, we keep getting reports. Uh, Fooper Troopers are everywhere. We have agents everywhere. That This is also from the subreddit. Ryan Kavanaugh is using some kind of like marketing company where they it's basically called black hat seo and you pay them you pay people to search a keyword so for example they say you know search keyword ryan kavanaugh actually the directions are here this is perfect click on the order paste the keyword find the highlighted url from the order and click on it do not click any of the ads once the page loads, the timer will begin. You must wait until the timer counts down. After the timer completes, the tab will close automatically when you return to your order list. So this this is some high-level uh, Black Hat SEO. It's got to be really expensive, too, because they actually need American users for this to work. They can't outsource this to, like, a clip form in India. Yeah, so you type Ryan Kavanaugh. You find the flattering website. You click it, you trick Google that you're actually spending time on the website, and that way you can artificially inflate its results on the um, search page. What's interesting here is that he's also a uh, keyword Ethan Klein. He's promoting negative articles about me. Isn't that awesome, you guys? This is actually spending money to get to try to raise in the ranks negative articles about me. And just as proof that he's dumb as the, he's gotta be one of the dumbest people on earth. And if this guy's dad wasn't rich, man, this guy would not be, have any success. Yeah, but the truth is if he was smart, dude, just separate the orders, right? Because then we wouldn't know that your dumb ass was doing this all, you know? Like, just separate the orders, dipshit. You know, a little tip for you next time. But good luck with that. Obviously, I don't give a shit. So that's good for me. Clearly, you care a lot more about the negative publicity. Um, so that's a really interesting thing he's doing. Shout out to the foot soldier who... Um, warning. If you click on any ad, your account will be banned. If you publicly share this, you will be banned. Well, shout out. To the Fooper Trooper who laid down his life to bring us this information. Uh, you are truly a great one. Uh, you know. And that's not it either. Um, this guy has not slept. He, you know. I, me and Ela keep joking that our 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 haters have uh, gotten very comfortable since we've been on break. Keemstar, Ryan Kavanaugh. They all started talking like like all of a sudden they had so much to say about me. You know, when our podcast was on break. Look at this shit. So our website, does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? And uh, This is a website we made to help the public uh, distinguish between Ryan Kavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein. They look very similar. If you Google Ryan Kavanaugh, and I urge everyone to do this, please. Google Ryan Kavanaugh. Just open a new tab. Don't close this window. Stay here on the video. Yeah, but oh, uh, Google Ryan Kavanaugh, scroll down. Okay, so here's the website. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Open the website. Don't click any ads or you'll be banned. 
Don't take any screenshots or you'll be banned. Just kidding. Uh, spend some time on the website. Look around. Uh, we have a lot of helpful information here so that people can distinguish between these two because obviously Harvey's a terrible guy. And who would want to be mistaken for him? You can see the resemblance is uncanny. You know, not only that, but they've been pictured together a lot of times. Here is Ryan kissing Harvey on the head. I mean, so, you know. Yeah, but anyway, go here. Check it out. But what's interesting about this website is that uh, Ryan Kavanaugh files a cyber squatting case against YouTuber. That's right. Ryan Kavanaugh filed a UDRP to try to take down the website. He's saying we are cyber squatting uh, under our, the domain to try to take, does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein down? So that, um, here's the thing. We just went through this process. There was a website called teddyfresh.net. That was basically using all of our photos. They were using our models. They were using our product shots. They were selling our clothes. I mean, obviously, I don't know what they were sending people, but they were. Oh, they never fulfilled. Oh, Ela said we bought just to see what the hell they were selling. And Ela said they they never sent it. That's funny because the fake items were pretty expensive, right? Like they didn't even mark it down. Yeah, it was so anyway. Um, yeah, so there was a, a website impersonating us, teddyfresh.net. We had to hire attorneys, go through this whole uh, domain name dispute thing. And because they were impersonating us, and there was a whole panel and everything, and we finally uh, were able to take back the domain. So now when you go to teddyfresh.net, it just redirects to um, our website. So that's what Ryan's trying to do with does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? I mean, it's such a misuse of the process. And I guess he's just hoping we don't respond because if you don't respond, it's a uh, default judgment, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like, you can just file this, and then if they don't respond, you get a default judgment. Like, because you still have to, if you want to respond, you got to get lawyers involved and all this shit. Like, it was not a cheap. We spent like, Probably ten thousand dollars at least to get that teddyfresh.net removed. So it's kind of crazy, but anyway, this is definitely going to get removed. Um, just another pathetic attempt by Ryan Kavanaugh to shut down what I think is a really charitable site to him, um, because once again, who would who would want to be mistaken? For Harvey Weinstein. I wouldn't. You know. This is a public service. Uh, this is a public service. Yeah so. That's a. I guess maybe you could even call that the fourth lawsuit against me. That one will be an easy dub though. Not to worry. Um, just funny. Um, also interesting. Ryan Kavanaugh news. Uh, there's this Twitter account. Ryan or Harvey, which, by the way, he also tried to get shut down for impersonating him, which is just, God, he's so deranged, you guys. Google Ryan Kavanaugh to find the website not associated with H3 content is satirical. So, so let me get this straight. Ryan thought that this picture was impersonating him. Okay. Now, does that, is that a self own a little bit? This is this is impersonating him. Can we just um, enjoy that a little bit? You know, okay. So that's what you look like with the shirt off, huh? Clearly not a parody. Yeah. Well, anyway, guy, you guys should definitely follow Ryan or Harvey. This guy is so funny, and he brings such interesting receipts, including this one here. Okay, so Ryan Kavanaugh is married to this model. It says on his Wikipedia page and everywhere else uh, that he's married to this model. Here it says he's currently married um, to Jessica Rofi, Rofi, whatever, right? Um, she's a model. 
very beautiful young uh, woman. Clearly married uh, Ryan for love. Here they are. You know? And so, there's some interesting developments here. And there's a really wor good working theory. Does Ryan Kavanaugh have a humiliation fetish? Because that's starting to be the only explanation for his activities. He has a humiliation fetish. Uh, I think we're going to have to call him Ryan Kukana from now on. Here he is in his wedding photos. And yet, she has this... Um, Instagram page, which we'll look at, called Always Closing, which I love, by the way. Always be closing. Yeah, I'll tell you what's... I'll tell you who's been closing Brad on your wife. You know. I'll tell you who's been closing. I'll tell you what's be opening your wallet once we sue you for attorney's fees. Yeah, so you guys tell me. They're, they're still married. Here it says... Oh, well, I think they're still married. And here it says her last name is Jess Cavanaugh. Um, if we go to, here's a photo I found together, by the way. I don't know, you guys. Does that look like co-worker vibes? <laughs> is that co-worker vibes? <laughs> so we're like, who is this guy, you know? Um, uh, and here he posted a video. This is his post, okay? I'm trying to show his kids or anything, but. He posted this. I'm not going to show any more, but he tags. This was two weeks ago during Christmas. He said, Harrison and Uncle Brad. Dude, he's calling the guy screwing his wife, Uncle Brad. Is this guy the bull? I think this guy's the bull, and Ryan watches in the corner. And he tags them. Yo, imagine the guy... Imagine the guy screwing your wife. You call him Uncle Brad, dude. What? No, that's so humiliating. Always closing. So you go to their real estate uh, Instagram. This gets real interesting. Now, it becomes pretty evident that what this is, uh, always closing, is basically, it says, Jess Kavanaugh and Brad Baskin, the bull. Brad the bull, baby. Probably got a fat one, too. No, no. His name is Brad Baskin, but I, I like to call him Brad the Bull. Yeah, by the way, look at some of the photos they have uh, saved on their highlights. Look at this, Mom. Look at this, Hila. Guess who filmed this? Hmm, probably his wife. Right after Ryan cried and used his tears for lubricant. Um, so it's clear to me that Ryan is just leveraging his trailer connections to try to make this a thing this always closing thing a thing and he's forcing all these kids uh to use them look at this it's like bryce hall um and all these trailer kids you'll see here's bryce again here's another trailer kid i don't know his name um here's noah beck the famous uh flipped shout out to the flipped man himself um but things get a little dicey when Bull, when the Bull, Brad the Bull, Ela, what do you think? Is that a coworker look or a? I don't know what to make of this, guys. What is happening? Her name is is Kavanaugh. But what it says it, they're still married on Wikipedia. What if it ended mutually on good terms? Well, they're possible? still married. I think there's not been a divorce. Or maybe, okay, but they're not divorced, I'm saying, you know. How do you know? I'd, there's no filing. I think it would be public. It would be on his Wikipedia page. So here is the Brad the Bull. Here, Brad the Bull. I think this one locks it up. No, they're just brother. They're just brother and sister. So that's Brad the Bull. But what's crazy, too, is there's pictures together like this from, like, 90 weeks ago. That's, like, oh, two years or how many weeks? weeks? Fifth, yeah, like, 90 weeks ago. How many, oh, yeah, so that, wait, what? That's hella long ago. Why can't I calculate? 
that's like five years or something crazy. 90 divided by... Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm so stupid. Hang on. Wait, weeks? Ugh, I'm such an idiot, you guys. So that would be uh, that would be uh, 22 months, so about two years. So this is not a new thing. This these guys are always closing. You know what I mean? And that that means something. Either where where they come from, always be closing with Uncle Brad the ball. And you know what's awesome too about Uncle Brad is that look how jacked he is. He's such a Chad, bro. Right. Yeah. She's probably so happy with the, the Uncle Brad. Ah, uh, he calls him Uncle Brad, dude. I can't. Yeah, well, explains why he's so angry, though, doesn't it? Because I, I always thought, well, he's got this supermodel wife, you know, at least he's, like, got something, right? I mean, what I don't know, the quality of the relationship, but he's got, like, that trophy wife. But it turns out... Yeah, it turns out that... Um, turns out, not so much. Here, this is from 92 weeks ago. Her and Uncle Brad having a dip together. You know, good times. Always be closing, my dudes. God, he's jacked, too. That's got to make him. What, how would you feel, dude? That's his That's his ex's bull. Yeah. Oof. And, and he's promoting their real estate company. Yeah, dude. Tried to play it cool. I think he has a uh, humiliation fetish is what we were saying. So there's some kind of working theory because that's the only way to explain what everything he's doing. Um, this one is from... Okay, this one's from January 2020. So yeah, that's a clean two years. Who says work can't be fun? Exactly. That's the caption. So I totally agree with you. Ryan is in none of these photos. Here's the earliest photo together. 100 weeks, 101 week, 112 weeks ago, guys. Um, of always be closing and Mrs. Kavanaugh. So it turns out Ryan's life is sadder than, than actually even I thought. So in a way, you know, I, this is kind of an incredible twist take for what it, what it is. But regardless, he's a piece of shit. He's trying to ruin my life. He's trying to sue me into oblivion. Now four lawsuits pending against me all because we had the audacity well, with the with the uh, domain lawsuit now, it's is that, for. Is it another one? It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I mean, here's an article about it. Eva's asking me questions. Um, here, here's this website just came out. Uh, domain name wire Fi film financier Ryan Kavanaugh files cyber squatting case against YouTuber. Mm. Man, the only person cyber squatting is Brad on your is your wife on Brad's face. You might want to take up that cyber squatting uh, case with Uncle Brad there. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, this guy's a piece of shit. He's trying to ruin my life because I had the audacity to react one minute to his four-hour event. Clearly fair use. And um, what can I say? I will defend my right to free speech uh, all the way until I am bankrupt. But let's be honest, Ryan. At this point, I probably have more money than you. Especially when you're funding Brad, lush, luscious lifestyle, that can't be cheap. So if you want to play a game of chicken of who goes bankrupt first, I'm here for it. Right, Ela? Uh. <laughs> no, I won't come to that. I won't come to that. I'm I'm being facetious, but the point is, is that I'm 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 here for it. I'm here to always be closing. Oh, I'm always closing, bro. That means something to me. Yeah. So shout outs. Uh, that's my update, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This has been another H three H H three T V. Almost at, by the way. Um, look at this. I'll show my analog. I don't give a shit. I'm, it's not even monetized. I mean, it is now, but it hasn't been. Uh, oh, we just passed ninety thousand subs. So let's freaking go right now. Um, subby, likey, do all the stuff. 
this channel is the best. It's a top secret little place for us to hang out and be cool dudes. Um, and I love that for it. So thank you, everybody, for being here. And that also the positivity has been so nice. You read the comments and everyone's just like, yeah. I'm just happy to hear your voice. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is awesome. Everyone's so happy to be here. It's nice. It feels nice, you know. And I'm happy to be here, too. You know what I mean? Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have made this dumbass channel. Literally just made this channel because I was like, couldn't, I guess I just. You just can't keep it in. I wanted the connection too, you know. I wanted to. I, also, I was seeing lots of comments on the subreddit of just how much people were missing it. Right. And uh, I'm just sitting here playing video games feeling like a piece of shit. So I was like, well, let's all, let's do something fun. Let's make something fresh and fun and exciting and everyone will have something to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love y'all as always. Shout outs uh, to the foot soldiers everywhere. Peace and love.